Hi guys, welcome to the Pep Coding. In this video, we are going to solve car theory. So let's read the problem statement first. So in the problem statement, we have n cars and all the cars are going to the same destination in a same road. The road is one plane road and we have two arrays. These two arrays save the position of the car at i index and speed of the car at the i index. And the car, the rules are a car can never pass another car ahead of it, but it can catch up to it and drive bumper to bumper at the same speed. This means if there is a car having speed more than uh, the another car, but the the car having speed low. Let's say we have a car C1 and C2. This car having speed of 4 and this car having speed of 2. And it has to reach at destination let's say 12 and this is at 10 and this is at 8 here this 4 or uh, let's say destination is instead of 12 it is it is 14 <coughs> now this c2 can take one time uh, at one unit of time it will reach to it will reach to 12 and this 2 will also reach uh, this c1 will also reach to 12 at one unit of time but after that here this c1 and c2 have car split car split where this means the c1 and c2 are at same position and now the car having more speed will have to go in the speed of the second car having less speed this means here this car having two speed, this car having four speed. They are at the same position here C1 and C2. But now this C2 have to go to the speed of C1 to reach the destination. This means this C2 cannot overtake C1. So this is the condition. And we have to return the number of car plates that will arrive at the destination. At the destination. So let's see. Let's see it by example. Let's say we have a position array and the speed array and the target is 12. So the positions are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's write the positions 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Now, here C1 car, C2, C3, C4 and C5. C1 is at uh, C1 is at 10 position. So here is C1 having speed having speed 2. This is the speed. C2 car is at 8 position having speed 4. C3 car uh, C3 car having uh, is at 0 position having speed 1. C4 is at Fifth position having speed 1 and C5 is at third position having speed 3 and they all need to go to the destination which is 12. Now here if we see these two cars, these two cars, one is one is C2 and another one is C1. For uh, let's see the unit of time. It, uh, all the cars take to reach to the destination. Here, for C1, the time it will take is 2. This is 2. How? 12 is the destination. It is at the position 10. Now, the distance is 2, but the speed is also 2. This means it will take 2 divided by 2, that is 1 unit of time. It will take 1 unit of time to reach to the destination. Now, for this, 12 minus 8 divided by 4 speed. 4 by 4, that is, it is also taking 1 unit of, one unit of time. Now, for C3, for C3, 12 minus 0 divided by, uh, divided by speed 1, that is 12. It takes 12 unit of time. For C4, it will take 12 minus 5 divided by 1, that is 7 unit of time. 
10 4 c5 it will take 12 minus 3 divided by 3 that is 3 unit of time so here if they take 1 unit of time to reach to the destination there will be a time when c1 c2 will reach to the destination but they are also making a car fleet before reaching to the destination now they are making a car fleet here in this c5 having speed 3 uh, speed 3 also the speed is 3 and c4 having speed 1 where c5 takes 3 unit of time to reach the destination and c4 takes 7 unit of time but c4 is uh, c4 is ahead of c5 so when c1 uh, c4 will take one unit of time to uh, reach to sixth position and this c5 will take one unit of time it will jump for uh, from 3 to 6 also but from this point c5 cannot take the jump of 3 the speed of uh, the the speed of c5 will be the speed of c1 uh, c4 which is 1 because c5 cannot overtake c4 the cars cannot overtake uh, the another car which is already ahead to that car so this means this c5 will go with the speed of c4 so let's see it by example again Now, if there is a C1 having time taking T1, C2 car having time taking C2 or T2. If T2 takes less time than T1 to reach to the destination or equal to, this means if T2 is less than or equal to T1, there will be a point when both cars will car fleet. Let's say C3. C3 takes T3 time and here T3 is also smaller than T1 or equal to this means this will also take car fleet but when C4 when C4 having T4 time and T4 is greater than T3 so this uh, for T4 it will never uh, overtake T3 or it will never reach to T3 at any point let's say Let's see it here. Here the car C3 is at zero position having uh, speed 1 and unit of time will turn. When it will take one unit of time, it will it will be at one position and all the others will be here. This C2 and C1, uh, C1 will be at the destination. And this C3, uh, this C5 and C4 will be also in the destination. But at the end of the time, when all the cars will reach to the destination, that means this is C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5. This will also say that this is a car fleet for all the cars. So this means at the destination, all the cars will be arrived at the destination. So reach at the destination. This means at least one car fleet, one car fleet will be there in all the cushion. If there are any, uh, there are number of cars greater than two or equal to two, there will be one car fleet at least at the end. Now, what we need? We do know the conditions that if T two is less than equal to T one, there will be a car fleet. Now. Now what we need is, we need uh, the data of the car which is position of all the car at ith position and the, and the time it will take. So we need to find that. So for doing this, we will use double type of 2D array. At 0th zero posi uh, zero position it will save the position, at 0 it will save the position. Of the column at one it will save the time corresponding to that position and the rows will be 
the number of cars. After that, we will sort it according to the position. The position which comes first will be, uh, we will check the time of that uh, that position and we will check for the number of leads. So let's code this. Now what we need is, we need the size of the size of the array which will give the number of cars. Now we need a double of 2d array car data equal to new double size is n and and 2 where 0 will save the position and 1 will save the unit time. Now we need to iterate from 0 till n till n i plus plus and from here we need to we need to find the car data at i0 it will save the position at i and it is in double so we will multiply 1.0 with 1.0 now k data at i1 it will save it will save it unit time which will be target target minus position at i into 1.0 divided by the speed at i let's make it also double so this will save the positions now we need to sort it according to the according to the position so here this is a double type so it needs double compare what a of 0 comma b of 0 because at the 0 in zero index we are saving the position initially the number of lead cards will be 1 and we will take a temporary temporary variable to save the and the variable will save of double type the data of double type and uh, this will save the card the card data at i1 the time taken now we will iterate from the uh, last index of the last index of the card data n minus 2 and this is n minus 1 i minus minus now the condition was when t2 is less than or equal to t1 here the condition will be car data car data at i 1 is greater than temp where temp is the t2 and car data at i1 is t1 this means car data uh, number of number of lead car will be increased and now the temp that is t1 will be car data at i1 and at the end we need to return the answers and answer is nofc the number of lead car so this is the code let's run this it is accepting but the output is not correct uh, let's try to submit this then we will see oh output was correct i thought output should be true so here we have seen our code is successfully submitted all the test cases or passed all the test cases so hope you understand the concept we will see you in the next video thank you